So now, what do we need to validate before we first turn on our application? So before we switch the application on for the first time, please check the proper setup of the jumpers and soldering switches uh, to choose the proper current reading topology, whether it's a single or three shunt. Please check the speed sensor configuration, the order of the signals from the whole sensor, from the encoders, the proper supply for the encoder and the whole sensors, if possible, because there may be options for 5 and 3.3 volts, and the setup of the overcurrent and over temperature mechanisms. Further, we need to check the polarity and rating of the supply voltage and uh, the setup and range of the DC-DC converters if they are present on the board. Of course, uh, it's uh, usually to, uh, to be sure that uh, we use uh, some isolation for, uh, um, for mains supplies, uh, for application and also for uh, scope. Uh, and uh, uh, if you use uh, some uh, power, power supply, it's uh, good to use uh, current limitation to be sure that uh, something is uh, not uh, wrong in, on your PCB. And uh, if you have a DAC output, it's uh, good to, uh, to have a connection to oscilloscope. Okay. So, uh, when uh, we turn on our application for the first time, we shall first check the supply current. If the motor doesn't uh, spin, uh, the current consumption shall be only a few tens of milliamps and uh, if the current is too high it's beneficial if your current limitation on the power supply uh, cuts the voltage down and only if uh, the supply is in the reasonable range we can continue further. Second part is uh, connect uh, your application uh, to PC through the USART communication and uh, detect if uh, your uh, uh, application running well. Okay, then uh, when you command the application to start your motor, uh, please check that the overcurrent is not reported either by the protection circuitry of your board or of the power supply. Uh, then it's good to check uh, DAC output if you see a good sinusoidal signal in current uh, 